I'm here today because I am a mom who is demanding action. I am um, here today because it's time to keep our communities safe from gun violence. And we know that this is a political choice. We know that what we need to make happen, we're making happen in California and we're leading the way, but there are lawmakers who are falling in line with the gun lobby because of money they get during campaigns and election seasons, rather than listening to the priorities of the majority of Americans. And that's when we get what we have now. And what we have now is gun violence that leads uh, the nation in causing deaths to children and teens in our country. Firearms accounted for 19% of childhood deaths. Nearly 3,900 children died in gun-related incidents in 2021 alone. And today we see politicians trying to ban books and t-shirts with rainbows on them instead of taking action on the issues that really threaten the lives of our children the most, which is gun violence. So today my message for the far right extremists who continue to put our communities at risk is simple. Rainbows and books aren't killing our children. Guns are. I'm so proud to share that my concealed carry bill, AB 1133, just passed the assembly yesterday. And AB 1133 would establish a statewide curriculum for concealed carry weapons permits. We know that less guns make us safer and are the solutions. However, we have 121,000 people in California with concealed carry um, licenses. And we have to ensure that those people are properly trained and they know what the laws are when it comes to gun safety. This is just one piece of what we're doing in the state. And the leadership of Senator Portentino, Jesse Gabriel, Buffy Wicks, all of my um, colleagues here today are continuing to stand up to the gun lobby and put our kids first. We know that more is needed on this issue. And how do we know? Because it continues to happen in all of our communities. It's happened in my community, in Santa Clarita, the fourth safest city in the nation where we lost two children to gun violence at our local high school. And and right now there's a lot of kids who are graduating and there's an empty seat at our graduation where Dominic should, should have sat. So it's upon every one of us to take action to ensure that we don't have any more empty seats at graduations. Thank you.